Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmund Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to fill out and submit Singapore tax informations in Google AdSense. So stay tuned ka lang para malaman ang buong process at start na natin. So ang next step ay open lang natin ang ating YouTube channel and then, then dito sa right side click mo lang tong YouTube profile natin. And then, sinik mo lang dito yung YouTube Studio. And then, next step, dito lang sa ating channel dashboard. So, scroll down. And then, sinik mo lang dito yung earn yung monetization. So, click mo lang yan. And then, dito sa right side, ay ka naman lang sinik dito yung visit AdSense para madirect tayo. So, click mo lang yan. Okay. So, dito sa ating uh, Google AdSense. So, dito lang sa left side, scroll down. At sinik mo lang dito yung payment. So, click mo lang yan. And then, next, ay click mo lang dito yung payments and pop. Right. So, dito sa payments account. So, dalawa kasi ito mga kaibigan pag clinic mo itong araw na to, Philippines, AdSense, and then yung YouTube. So, dito tayo nag-earning sa YouTube. Okay. So, dito sa ating AdSense Philippines. And then, makikita mo dito yung update mga kaibigan to avoid any delays on your payout and to make sure the right amount of tax is withheld. Make sure to provide your Singapore tax info as soon as possible. And then next step ay, i-click mo lang tong Add Tax Info. Alright, so dito sa Manage Tax Info, scroll down. And then may mga details dito, pwede mo rin tong masayang mga kaibigan. And then next step ay, i-click mo lang tong Add Tax Info. Alright, so before you start, expect to take 5 to 10 minutes. And then may mga details dito. And then next step, i-click mo lang tong Start For. So click mo lang yan. Okay, so dito na sa Singapore Tax Info and then yung Business Info. So, what is your business type? So, i-click mo lang tong araw na to and then sinik mo lang dito may mga options nito. Okay, so sinik mo lang dito yung individual mga kaibigan. So, click mo lang yan. And then, do you have a permanent establishment in Singapore? So, click mo lang tong no kasi na dito tayo sa Philippines. And then, next questions. Are you registered for Singapore Goods and Service? Tax GST under the overseas vendor registrations regain and then click mo lang tong no and then next step so optional lang tong unique entity number mga kaibigan and then next questions so dito sa tax exceptions so are you eligible for tax exemptions so i-click mo lang tong no okay so ang next questions again so are you eligible for other exemptions or lower tax rates so i-click mo lang yung no so, lahat dito na answer is no mga kaibigan. So, and then next, ay click mo lang to submit. So, click mo lang yan. Okay. So, makikita mo na dito mga kaibigan, your tax info has been accepted. Alright. So, makikita mo dito accepted, submitted February 28, 2024, expires on, never expires. So, hindi po siya may expire mga kaibigan. Okay. So, nandito yung sinagotan natin exceptions, and then details mga kaibigan. Alright, so ganun na po kasimple kung paano tayo mag-submit ng Singapore Tax Informations in Google AdSense, Google AdSense, Singapore Tax Update 2024. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.